President Yoweri Museveni's new cabinet lineup has excited a number of the public, including analysts. The debate on who took what and why is at the center of discussion. If being in a cabinet position means eating big, I think Northern Uganda and Eastern Uganda uh, have uh, a biggest share uh, ahead of the West and actually the center. And I think uh, this could have been influenced also by the fact the way the voting pattern. A seasoned political analyst and currently working as the executive director advocates Coalition for Development and Environment, Dr. Arthur Bainomukisha, believes the president was spot on. He has now assembled his team uh, 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 to deliver on the promises because there is a manifesto uh, which is actually uh, 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 a social contract with the citizens of Uganda. And therefore, uh, citizens expect him to deliver efficient service delivery to turn around the economy, to fight COVID-19 and, uh, and all, and all uh, fight corruption and all these things that actually he has vowed actually to deliver on. The appointment of the former Speaker of Parliament, Rebecca Kadaga, to the cabinet post of the first Deputy Prime Minister and in charge of East African Affairs slot is among the key points of debate in Mr. Museveni's new cabinet. Uh, since I think the demise of uh, Right Honorable Weria Kategaya, that docket has not had uh, a strong leadership. Honorable uh, Kadaga uh, will, will use her skill in steering a very controversial parliament uh, to be able actually to also steer uh, uh, the, 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 the process of regional integration, which to most of us actually has been stagnant. With many referring to Buganda as the end receivers in the coming cabinet on assumption of getting few appointees, Banomagisha asserts that political rewarding is what laid them down. But in a country like ours, uh, where you are built, you are still forging a nation, I think it becomes very imperative that that principle is again checked because you still need to win the hearts and the minds of even people who didn't support you. So of course, uh, so the appointment uh, cannot be seen as punitive. So I think Uganda is also represented, the people are there, but <clears throat> the people who voted uh, most for the NRM and for the president, I think had to, to, to be considered. Another appointment which has called for analysis is that of the former Prime Minister, Dr. Wakana Rugunda, where if approved by Parliament, will serve as the presidential special envoy. It is hoped that the assembled team will execute the President's five-year manifesto and contract he made with people during the recent elections. Robert Onyango, UBC News, Kampala.